wrong flavor. I have to turn on my mic. Uh oh. oh. Here, I'll I, always have to, I always have to keep it off when I'm around Rory. I never know what she's going to say. Uh, in commercial break. It's not fun, you know? Very good. What do you make it? Well, in tribute to the fact that you were in New Orleans and yes. it is Fat Tuesday today, mm -hmm. we're going to be making gumbo. And what I've done is I've made it so it's super easy so everybody at home, you guys can make this no it's problem. It's not easy. Gumbo is a process, yeah? yeah it is. Yeah. And so what I've done is tried to simplify Good. it to the point that you could actually do this in your crock pot. So we have onions and um, celery going right now and some butter. You're going to add your chicken and your andouille sausage. If you don't have andouille sausage, you can use smoked sausage. It works fine, but you want to use the, you know, the you want it to be authentic and use the andouille, which can is... Can you tell us what it, yeah. Tell andouille us what it sausage is. is basically, it's got Cajun spices and it's three different types of meat. It's one right. of uh, the m most used sausages mm -hmm. down in Louisiana. It is, in fact, yes. All right. All right. Uh, now, actually, you're going to use, add your crawfish. This crawfish. is my favorite ingredient right here. Yep, and you can get crawfish tails right here in Amarillo. They are frozen, but they're still great. And okay. then we're we're gonna add some shrimp. That's the thing about Second gumbo. It's got ingredient. like everything. Or you can do just the chicken or and you right. can just do you a can, seafood. You can kind of do whatever, right? There we go. He doesn't want to miss any pieces of shrimp. No, exactly. You can make not. whatever sort of gumbo you want. In the meantime, while all this stuff is cooking, because you want your chicken to be fully cooked before you add your broth and everything, okay. Okay. I'm going to talk about roux real quick, because Good. roux is a really big part of Cajun cooking, and um, it's used as a thickener, Right. and basically it is fat and flour. I love to use bacon fat. If you don't have it, use butter. Mm, that's so not bacon fat. It's Yummy. so good. So fat you're just going to take your butter and you're going to melt it, and then you're going to... How gonna, much am I pouring Well, in? what you want to do is you're going to pour it out slowly while you're, while you're you mixing it. You want to stir it constantly. Okay, you watching, Andy? Like, yeah. stir it at the same time while you're and you want it to come to a wet sand consistency don't be scared Andy you could do it okay it's not scary this is gonna we're all gonna I make it I mean the I love process. gumbo I don't want to mess this up because I really you know sometimes I eat a little sometimes I'll eat a lot more than <laughs> I eat a lot of this today I'm just telling there you me. go you see how that's a wet okay, sand yeah, consistency it almost looks like paste kind it of. does it does mm -hmm. and there's three different types of brew you have a light roux, a medium roux, and a dark roux, or they call it a blonde roux. And we're going me roux. We're uh, going medium. medium. So you're just going to keep mixing that and let that um, get darker and darker, and you'll smell this nutty smell. I know you know what it's about, yeah. but this one on the I know. Hand, right. we got to help them. we got to help them out. Okay. Yeah, please. I need more help than you can possibly <laughs> provide. So, so. So now that all your chicken's cooked off, your shrimp is ready to go, you can add okra to this. Now, okra is used a lot down in Louisiana. Okra actually is used as a thickener to replace, so if they don't want to use roux, mm -hmm. but we're going to actually use it as our vegetable. So you're going nice. to just toss that in there. Now, I'll tell you, this is the only way I eat okra. Did you know that? Really? You don't, gumbo? Like it? you don't like it fried? Um, no, I don't eat it fried. Why? All right. I just don't, I don't know. I just it's a I don't I don't do <laughs> it. My work. wife asks me that question all the time. She's like, "Why well, just try?" And every time, no matter where we go, she's like, "Just try it." And I'm like, "Well, it tastes the same, but I still try it no matter what." Okay, look at how beautiful this looks. looks look at good. That doesn't that look really good? good? So the last thing you're gonna do now is you're gonna add your chicken broth to it. Okay. And you're just gonna let this simmer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look, that is look at that! Oh, is this so good? Bad. Where are your beads? Oh, can you believe you have beads on? No. That is so unlucky. Plus, I can put some. I can put some more on. You do that. I've, I've got a lot going on here. Very All right. good. All right. So we're gonna let this simmer for about 40 minutes in total. Okay. And as I said, put this in your crock pot, and then once you get home, you're gonna add your roux to it after, after it's been end. soaking. Okay. Right. So the roux that I have worked so tirelessly see, on. See the color on that roux? Yes. If you want to show everybody, that's a medium roux, and that's already okay. cooked off. And what's great about this, guys, is you can make a big batch of it and leave it in your cupboard. Yep. And then you'll have a thickener at all times for stews, gravies, whatever nice. you'd like. And you cannot forget the one thing I almost forgot is our Cajun seasoning. You gotta have the Cajun seasoning. You have to have Cajun seasoning in your gumbo. A little spicy. And that is that's Roy, that's a special seasoning that you. And let me tell you, ever since really you get, you gave me just a little bit, and it goes a long way. Michelle and I have been using it on chicken. We use it on everything. We love it. Okay, so after you add your roux and let it cook down, this is what it's gonna nice. look like. Very good. And we're it's gonna we're gonna try it. It's perfect. We we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna send it to break. We're gonna show you a little bit of and hurricane what, yeah, action. Yeah, I was about to say hello. After the break, stay with us and get you beads. Oh, we got, I got you. Beads. <laughs> the Studio 4 Kitchen Appliances are provided by Circle and Appliance. From Gourmet.